everybody Jay here welcome back to the channel um, by popular request I got a bunch of I've actually gotten a few comments on um, a few things on Instagram actually believe it or not and on YouTube about my polar uh, polar polar whatever HD 1500 um, trailer how I like it how it's held up so we're gonna do a um, we're coming up almost a year now of using this so I am going to do a full in-depth review on this trailer what I think the good, the bad, the ugly, honest, and again, I bought this for my own money um, about a year ago. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, folks, so I did a little uh, pre-drafting uh, before I made this video. I'm gonna break this down into five categories. Strength, capacity, wheels, customizability, if that's a word, and stability. So let's get into the first uh, category, which is strength. So strength on this trailer, um, is very very solid as you can see behind us we heat with slab wood we heat with big firewood we don't heat with conventional firewood because we have an outdoor boiler the primary reason why i bought this trailer was for um strength as far as capacity and hauling things so um this trailer is very solid it is very strong it has a very thick plastic um tote and I have a lot of people who run this trailer as well, and they said they have thrown stuff in it, they've loaded it dead of winter, and they haven't cracked it yet. Uh, I don't know the actual material, but as far as strength goes, so far, is a there, this is a pretty solid trailer. Now, I have one issue underneath, which I'll get to in the end, that kind of falls under a different category, but I also put the railing kit on this, and the railing kit also gives it some more strength, some more rigidity. So as far as strength, rated out of 10, I'm gonna give this trailer a solid, um, I would say eight. And the reason for an eight, I'll address it at the very end. Now the next capacity, is, <laughs> the next category is capacity. Now how much material can this actually haul? My father and I yesterday, um, we were removing some topsoil in an area on a project which you'll see coming up. Um, and this thing hauls about 15 cubic feet. That's what it's listed. Um, but we packed this thing loaded with um, with topsoil, dirt, sticks, brush, things like that. So it holds a lot and lot of capacity. However, big asterisk here, this trailer, and it, this is a known thing, this trailer does not dump well. If you're buying this strictly to move and dump material, I honestly think you should pick a different style trailer. And let me show you so why. This is a known issue. Uh, and a lot of people said this in the comments. So this is a dumping trailer. However, that's as far as it dumps. Now I'm gonna attach a video yesterday of my father and I working. Um, the problem is if you have any material in this, you have to still rake it out. Uh, you, all the material will not fall out. So I would say as far as, um, this, when, as, far as this category goes, capacity. Capacity is really good. However, dump ability, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna add another category. Dump ability, I'm gonna give it a zero, honestly, because this thing does not dump, but it's a known, it's, it's a known thing. When you buy this trailer, it's known that it, it's not good for dumping. So that's, I give it literally a zero for dumping because it's not, but again, that's not why I bought it. Um, it's not really designed for dumping. As you can see, it's got that beaver tail and there's really no room for material to slide out on its own. So um, let's go ahead, lock this back together, and move on to the next category. The next category I want to talk about is wheels and tires. Now this thing has some Wanda tires. Again, I'm not sure where they're manufactured, but it's a good size fat tire. It's a pretty solid rim. It's got two bearings that you can actually repack with grease, which I like being a mechanic. I like the ability to um, take out and repack bearings. So um, the wheels are nice, they're fat, they've got good shred on it, uh, it helps disperse the weight for sure. So I definitely think these wheels um, are a solid, solid wheel. And you have plenty of room here if you wanted to upgrade your wheels and tires, which is a nice feature. You don't have any fenders or anything prohibiting you. So as far as wheels go, it's a definitely, I would say it's, it's a solid wheel uh, and axle. It's independent axles. So you have pretty good ground clearance. So as far as wheels and ground clearance, I'm gonna give it a 10. Now the next category I like is, I call it customize. How well can you modify this? Well, if you buy obviously the top rail kit, 
Um, I bungeed stuff to here. I'm actually going to make uh, or attach some type of saw scabbard. So literally, I can put my chainsaws here on the side when I haul my firewood. Because what I do now is I load this trailer with all my tools and then I empty all the tools out in the woods and then I just make firewood runs. But that very last firewood run, if I could have all my tools on the side here and haul a load of firewood and I don't have to make that second trip out in the woods to get all my equipment, that's a good feature. So as far as customizability, I like it because you have plenty of room with these side grates to bolt things to and make scabbards and boxes and toolboxes and stuff. So I absolutely love that feature. Plus up front, I'll show you right now. Up front here, you obviously have your lock for your dumping feature, but you have a good section of run here. You can weld a toolbox on. You can put maybe a little grate there and you can put milk crates on there. That's probably what I'm going to do. So as far as customizability, this trailer definitely, definitely, definitely leaves you with options to rig it up to put your string trimmers, brush cutters. You can even put like your, your leaf blower here. So you can definitely, definitely customize it. So I give that a solid 10. All right, so one of the last categories now, I would say is stability. Stability to me in trailers. Oh, those of you who may remember who've been following the channel for a while, I had a small dinky little tow behind. Um, red cart and I constantly would flip that over. I would hit a stump, over it went, out came the logs and all my saws. I actually cracked one of my top covers on my saws once, so needless to say, um, that didn't work out. But stability, this thing is solid. And let me show you why. This thing is so solid because um, your center of gravity is super, super low. Where you stack your logs is pretty much parallel with the bottom axle and your wheels stick out. If these wheels were tucked underneath, um, it would be a little bit more top heavy, but it's got a low center of gravity and the, um, like I said, the wheels stick out. I have yet to tip this over and trust me, <laughs> I've been in some serious terrain with it. All right. so. Here's here's my care, here's the caveat. Here's the issue I ran into, and let me show you show you guys what happened. So I said in the beginning the strength of this trailer. I gave it a t I gave it an eight. Now the issue I ran into was the Big Bear is a heavy four wheeler. I had this thing loaded with fresh cut maple to the top, and what happened was is let me show you. I wasn't recording this, but I was driving through the woods and I caught a tree in between the tire and the axle, and I actually buckled the frame. So the reason I gave strength an eight is because this, the box, the plastic is solid, the grate is solid. But the problem is, is I do personally think this frame could have been a little bit beefier. Now what I actually want to do, and I'll attach a photo, is I want to weld some steel coming out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna overlay a photo so it makes more sense. I want to attach some steel coming out and angled over, which will give this more support, but it will also act, because I constantly get these wheels caught on trees and shrubs, because again, these wheels stick out wider than the four wheelers. So that's why I gave the strength an eight. This was my fault. This isn't a manufacturing error. I hit a tree at a pretty good clip. So that, that was my fault. I'm owning that completely. I'm not saying they built a weak trailer, but I do think that that frame could have been a little bit more strong maybe a little bit thicker steel and like i said some some reinforcement will be nice so again is this is this trailer for you um if you're hauling firewood and you need to move equipment around chainsaws pole saws leaf blowers weed whackers brush cutters fuel cans this this trailer is right for you if you're looking to buy a trailer specifically to dump material this is not the trailer do not buy this to dump material my primary use on this is moving firewood around from the firewood racks to the outdoor boiler so this is perfect for firewood 100 percent 10 out of 10. is this good for moving material light material like leaves stuff that you can easily rake out yes heavy material like i showed you earlier we were loading with the tractor no that was absolutely miserable to dump this and that was the first time i actually used it and i said i gotta make a video on this so again another drawback too is that um, you like I said you have those exposed tires. I caught a tree and I bent the frame. That was my fault Now I'm going to do some customization so we don't have that issue again, but 
I think the weak one of the weak points is, is that frame could be a little bit stronger but again if you're handy and you can customize this is the perfect platform because like I said we're gonna build saw scabbards on here we're gonna put little toolboxes we can even put milk crates in the front with our chainsaw chaps everything so we can haul our firewood and have all our gear with us too fuel cans things like that so uh, I definitely think it's a solid trailer um, but just really look around your property to see what you're doing this is primarily for firewood so it's a win in my book I can haul all my gear it's awesome they make a tandem double axle one it's the same capacity it just uh, I guess if you will I haven't had any issues but the four tires give it a little bit more stability but like I said I gave it a 10 for stability because I have not flipped it yet so anyways that's my review of the Polar uh, HD 1500 trailer Again, I bent the frame because that was my fault, but I do think there could be a better design um, like the picture I showed you and I'll overlay it again. I definitely think I'm going to take it to my buddy's shop and have him weld it up and gusset it and make it a little bit stronger. So without further ado, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Um, I think this is an overall good trailer. Just depends on what you're doing. So um, to each their own you guys can make your own educated decision again i bought this on my own there's no incentive for me to make this video that's just my honest review so if polar polar if you are watching strengthen up the frame and do something about your tires exposed because they catch everything um like i said they stick out farther than the four wheeler so without further ado thank you guys for watching let me know what you think and we will see you out in the woods